Maybe a second successive nil nil draw. A bit of a disappointing way to start the season. Well, I wouldn't say disappointing. Um, you know, we're not conceding a goal, which is a real positive. I thought the, the boys defended great today. Um, we're undefeated. So it's not a disappointing start of the season, that's, a, that's, that's unfair comments. Um, I think there was only one team going to win that game at the end of the game there. Um, and we had chances. And, uh, but you're going to get games like that, that uh, you need to convert. I think it was very even in the first half, there wasn't much between the teams in the first half. And I think we changed it up and uh, we started playing in the, the further up in, in their half. And as I said, there was only one team going to win the game at the end. So uh, yeah, I'm disappointed with the result, but not with the performance in the second half with the, the guys in Devon to win the game. You obviously changed shape in this. So, uh, towards the midway point of the second half um, and it we seemed to have a real effect it was a bit more positive going forward after that yeah I think we got caught out in the first half of playing too deep you know, we were taking from the goalkeeper trying to play through a, a, a press as you want to call that they were pushing players up the park and we were making it difficult for ourselves because in a certain style we wanted to play in so you know where we chat at half time and talked about we need to play further up the park we need to try and play in their half of the park and uh, and as I said, see the last 20 minutes, the last 25 minutes, it was only going to be one winner there. And we were pushing and pushing and pushing and the players pushed as hard as they can. And we were unfortunate not to win the game there. So, uh, But again, as I said there, listen, it's only early in the season. We're undefeated, but I'm considered a goal. So there's your positives out of that. Josh Skelly was obviously picked up an injury last week and it was without, without a recognised number nine, if you like. Dan yeah. Watson filled in there today. Is yeah. that something you're looking to rectify? Yeah, listen, disappointing for Josh. He's done really well since he came in there and uh, he's led the line great. Um, we had to change up today. Darren's come in. He hasn't started the game yet, so you know it was a good opportunity for him. I thought Darren done fine. He made a lot of channel runs, but again, I think we played too deep in the first half to really, for really to help him uh, in that respect. But um, listen, yeah, we, you know, hopefully we can, uh, you know, maybe bring one more player in. We're looking to do that. We've been active in the market and uh, we'll see what happens in the next week or two. You've got the weird situation of having to go down and play Elgin at Borough Briggs on Tuesday. Yeah. Would it be a bit of a different game there, will it? I think so, yeah. Um, yeah well, that's one we'll think about you later tonight. We'll, we'll digest this game first and then we'll, we'll get our heads on the game for Tuesday. And just a word on the Challenge Cup. How big of a thing is that for you? Yeah, it's big. We want to win every game. We want to get into a mentality of winning games. So whoever we play on Tuesday night will be trying to win that game. But I think it's a good opportunity for people like maybe like Darren White to come in and get a game. I think it's important Darren gets some game time and it's an ideal opportunity. We've got a big Andy Munro come back in, he'll play on Tuesday as well and then we'll, we'll fill in the gaps around there. But we're going up there to win the game, that's, that's for sure. Perfect, thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers. guys.